With this year's Nairobi International Trade Fair, whose theme is enhancing technology in agriculture and industry for food security and national growth, set to kick off tomorrow, the organizing committee sought to seek for divine intervention during the Harvest Festival service held at the All Saints Cathedral. Addressing the congregation, Anglican Archbishop Eliud Wabukala emphasized the need for technological advancement as a way of taking the country to the next level. If we want to get to Vision 2030 for this country, then a lot still has to be done to improve our farming methods. And I think in particular we also want to say that provision of fertilizer at affordable prices is also important so that people have access to all the ingredients that come to make agriculture uh, productive. And this will go a long way in removing uh, or doing away with poverty in our country. This year, the show is set to have more exhibitors, both from within the country and foreigners. Last year, we had about 370 um, and, and about uh, eight countries that participated. So the number is growing. It is slow, but it is, uh, we are making good progress and uh, good growth. And we are happy with what we are doing so far. Um, in terms of recruiting the members. Security has also been heightened given the security threat of the Al-Shabaab, especially after the capture of Kismayu by KDF forces together with Somali forces under the AMISOM umbrella. We've worked very closely with the, the PC of Nairobi who is uh, the chairman of the security committee of uh, this province. Uh, we have worked also very closely with the police headquarters, the CID, NSIS, and uh, we can guarantee you that the place will be secure. We have uh, a lot of policemen who are deployed. We have uh, CCTV. We have uh, cameras. We have those CCTV cam cameras. We have also sniffer dogs. We've done street lighting, which is uh, very, very key. From uh, Ngong Road up to inside the, the showground, we've done street lighting this time. It's going to be lit all the Other way. Other measures that have been taken include e-ticketing to avoid long queues and members of the public have been asked to cooperate with the officials on the ground for ease of access when it comes to screening. The show will run from the 1st to the 7th of October when an interdenominational service will be held at the showground to mark its end. Nancy Njoki, GBS News.